Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another PS4 jailbreak tutorial. So we can now jailbreak the PS4 up to firmware 12.02 using the Netflix application. This is another way that we can jailbreak the PS4. Currently, it's only up to 12.02 using Netflix and this one does have some steep requirements. So it's not something that the majority of people are going to be able to use. It's going to be kind of similar to the Mastercore exploits with Okage Shadow King where you basically have to have a license for Netflix on your console in order to be able to use it to jailbreak your PS4. But if you do have, you know, a licensed copy of Netflix, so if you actually have Netflix still installed on your console, if you go to your games library and you can see it's still in there, or if you have, you know, downloaded Netflix on your account on this PS4 in the past, and then, you know, maybe you deleted Netflix at some point, but you may still have the license tied to your account if that account is still on your PS4 and you're still on an old enough firmware, 12.02 or lower for this particular exploit, then you can actually use the Netflix application to jailbreak your console. And we've also just got the release of a new extended storage method, which can allow you to get the correct version of Netflix installed by using an extended storage drive, like an external hard drive or a large USB drive to get the correct version of Netflix installed to run the exploit. So I'm going to show you guys how you can get this up and running here in this video if you do happen to have a console that has a license for Netflix on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we do this here. So, so if we head over to the Netflix and Hack project by Earth Onion, we can go to the releases page here. And in here you can see we now have the external drive images for PS4 and PS5. So for us, we want the PS4 ones in this case. So depending on which region you're in, you would select the one that matches your region. So in my case, it would be the European one. So I will download this. If you're in the US, you would download this one. So download that over to your computer. Now, another thing that you're going to need is a USB drive or external hard drive that is large enough. It needs to be 256 gigabytes or larger. And that's because we're configuring this USB drive as extended storage for the console. So it needs to be a large drive, so 256 gigs or larger. It doesn't have to be a specific capacity. It just needs to be 256 gigs or higher. Anything lower will be too small to write the image to and it will not work. So in my case, I have this two terabyte drive here that is an extended storage drive. You can use like a SATA SSD with a SATA to USB adapter or like an NVMe drive enclosure that connects via USB. So any drive that connects via USB that's large enough should do. We also want to grab Balina Etcher software. So download it, it will be linked in the description. And of course, the latest Gold 10 release to jailbreak your PS4 with 2.4 B18.7 or higher. So once you have those downloaded, what we're going to do is open up the Netflix PS4 7-zip file. So you'll need 7-zip or WinRAR to open this. I'll leave that in the description too. And then you just want to extract the zip file over to your computer. So we now have the Netflix PS4.zip. And then we're going to open up Belina Etcher. We're going to select Flash from File. Then we want to select the Netflix zip file. So we'll select Open. It will say Missing Partition Table. That's fine. Just click Continue. And then we want to select our target drive, which is going to be the uh, external hard drive or extended storage drive that you're going to be using here. So as long as it's 256 gigs or higher, we're going to select that drive. And then we can select the option here to flash that onto the drive. So you're about to erase an unusually large drive. I'm going to say yes, I'm sure because I know this drive does not already have any data on it. But if you do have data already on your drive, make sure you back it up before you do this because this will erase the drive. So I'm going to say yes, I'm sure. And that's going to write that over to the drive. Okay, so that only took about five minutes there to flash that onto the drive. So there it is. Once it's done, you can then unplug that drive. But before you plug it in to the PlayStation 4, we do actually need to check something. So the idea is that the correct version of Netflix version 1.53, which is the version that's needed to run the jailbreak, that version is included on that image that's now flashed to your USB drive that we can then copy over to the PS4 here. But if you already have a version of Netflix installed on your console, that's a different version to 1.53. So if I press options on this version and go to information, you can see this is the latest uh, release 1.59, which is not compatible. You want to delete that version first. So get rid of that from your PS4. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that version of Netflix. So it's no longer on my console. Now we're also going to just set up our network connection 
we might as well just do this now. So if we go up to network, set up an internet connection using Wi-Fi or LAN cable, whatever you normally use, but we need to say that we're using a custom setup here and we're going to say automatic IP, do not specify DHCP, we can do an automatic DNS, automatic MTU, but the proxy server, we need to tell it to use a proxy server. Now you can either set this up locally on your own computer or use the public address. For quickness, we'll just use the public IP address because everything's already set up for you. So just enter the IP address 172.105.156.37. And then for the port number, we need to change that to 42069. And then we're gonna say next. And the internet settings have been updated. So that should block the connection, preventing Netflix from being updated to the latest version. And it will also automatically inject the exploit when we load the Netflix application once we have it installed. So now all we need to do is turn off our PS4, then just plug in the USB drive that contains our extended storage image, which has Netflix on it. Okay, so I rebooted the PS4. We now have the extended storage drive connected. So if I go back over to library, we can see we have Netflix installed, but if I hit options and go to information, you can see it's on version 1.53 now. So that's the version from the extended storage image. But what you should do is copy that extended storage version over to the internal storage. So if we head over to storage here, we've got extended storage. We'll select that. Applications. Netflix is right here. So if I press options over it and move to system storage, select it and then tell it to move that over to the system storage and that frees up the external usb so we don't need that anymore so now we can remove that extended storage drive if we hold down the ps button we can go over to i believe it's sound and devices if we scroll down we can say stop using extended storage and that will deactivate it and now we can disconnect that from our ps4 and plug it back into your computer or you can just plug any other USB drive into your computer now. So now all we need is Gold Hen to be installed so we can load that to jailbreak our console. So if I right click on the start menu and go into disk management, I'm going to reformat that USB drive. So it should come up here saying it's not recognized. So I'll just format it here. And then once that's done, it should appear in the bottom list here. So there is the same drive that was extended storage for the PS4. I'm just going to right click and create a new simple volume. And then we'll click next, next, assign a drive letter, make sure the file system is XFAT, not NTFS. And I'll give it the label of USB. And then I'll click finish. And that will turn it into a working drive again for the computer. So here it is right here on my computer. So I can now go into that USB drive. Again, you can use any USB drive for this part as long as it's XFAT or FAT32 format. We're going to open up the goldhen zip file and extract the goldhen.bin to the root of the USB drive. And then, of course, we just need to rename that file to payload.bin instead of goldhen.bin. But again, make sure that you have view show file name extensions so that you have the file correctly named payload.bin and then you should be good to go. So plug that USB back into the PS4 and we should be finally ready to run the jailbreak. So back on the PS4, we're going to head over to the library, go to the Netflix application and launch it. So we're going to select start and that's going to run because we have the license on our account for Netflix. And now we just wait for the exploits to do its thing. Okay, here we go. Netflix and hack is loading up. Loading the exploit. Wow, that was fast. Look at that. So USB payload was found. It's copying the payload to the data folder, which means the next time we want to run Netflix, it will just load Gold 10 from the data folder on the hard drive. You will not need the USB drive plugged in anymore because we've copied the Netflix application to the console storage, as well as the Gold 10 payload is now on the console storage. So we're all good there. And yeah, as you can see, we're up and running. Here it is. Gold 10 is loaded. We have Gold 10 fully up and running here on our PS4. Now again, this is 12.02. We cannot use this up to the latest firmwares at the moment. So 12.02 is the highest that can be jailbroken using this because it's using the lapse exploit, not the poop exploit or net control exploit because that exploit uh, has trouble being loaded through uh, different user land exploits other than you know the Blu-ray and WebKit exploits. Therefore, we're limited to 12.02 at the moment as the highest firmware that we can jailbreak using this. 
So that's how you get the jailbreak set up using the public proxy server. But if you want to be able to set it up locally instead so that you're not relying on that public IP address because maybe the server goes down in the future or it goes down for maintenance when you're trying to use it and then you can no longer get it running and you can't use the jailbreak. So if you want to be able to set things up locally, you can set up the proxy locally on your computer and then just connect to that on your PS4 and get it to inject the exploit for you instead of relying on that public server. So if you want to do that, I'll quickly show you how that's done. So basically, all you need to do is go to the Netflix and Hat project on GitHub, go to the code and download it as a zip file, and then extract that over to your computer. If we open up the folder, we go into the PS4 folder, we right click in this folder and open in terminal. You might need to hold the shift key down on your keyboard when you right click to get that option or select more options in the right click menu. So you do need to have Python installed on your computer. If you type in Python and press enter, if it says Python here, that means it is installed and you can then type in exit, open and close brackets to exit out of that section. Now, if it opens up the Microsoft Store, bringing you to the Python page on the Microsoft Store, then just select the option on the store to get it installed to install Python version 3.11 or 3.12. I think 3.11 is what you want. So just go ahead and install that version of Python. Then we also need to install the man in the middle proxy, which we can do through the pip installer by typing in pip install and then MITM for man in the middle proxy and then press enter and let that install. In my case, I already have it installed. And then you can run the proxy by typing in MITM proxy dash S and then proxy dot PY and press enter. And that should run the proxy server right there. It may also ask you to allow access on your firewall, on your computer's firewall. So just say yes to allow access there. You'll also need to get your computer's IP address, which you can get from your settings page on Windows 11 by going to network and internet and then ethernet or Wi-Fi, whichever way you're connected. And then check your IPv4 address here. So 192.168.137.1. And then if we head over to our settings page, go to our network settings, set up an internet connection uh, using Wi-Fi or LAN, using a custom setup again, we're going to do automatic, do not specify, automatic, automatic. And then for the proxy server, use a proxy. But this time you just enter the local IP address of your computer on your own network as the IP address. And then for the port number, we just enter 8080, which is the common proxy port number. And then we are good to go. So that's basically it. So now if I go and run the Netflix application again, so we'll just go ahead and start it. I know I'm already running the jailbreak, but we should at least see if the proxy server is working here or not. Okay, and as you can see, we get Netflix and Hack showing up there. And it is basically running the exploit again, but obviously Gold Hen's already loaded. So that is actually working. So you can set it up locally instead of using the public server. The public server is the easiest option, but if it ever goes down in the future, it's good to know how to set up the server yourself on your own device so that uh, you don't have to rely on you know somebody else to maintain that but uh, yeah that's basically it so you can now jailbreak your console using the netflix application if you're lucky enough to have the license for netflix still on your console from whenever you downloaded netflix at some point in the past and you need to be on a jailbreakable firmware 12.02 or lower not 12.52 because this uses the older laps exploit now if you're able to use the revert method which is what I use to get Netflix on here. You can basically update to the latest firmware, download Netflix so that you have the license on your account and then revert back to a jailbreakable firmware to use it to jailbreak, uh, which is what I did here. However, again, that's quite an involved process. I'll leave links if you're interested in the description to my video on how to set up the revert mod, as well as a video on how to revert the console while retaining your licenses if you're interested. But I really don't expect many people to actually try to attempt that because it is quite an involved process. So, but anyway, that's how you jailbreak the console using the Netflix application with this new update from Earth Onion, which also now allows you to install Netflix using an extended storage drive. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, as always, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.